do what now? Just was... tell me what happens because you succeeded. Okay. Okay. Since I critically succeeded, I tackled her, and the second I realized it was her, I turned it from a tackle into a roll. Like I was hugging ah! her because I was so happy to see her, and I said, "Jenny, Jenny, how are you doing? Hey, my <laughs> best friend." She's just like, she's like, "Whoa, hey, glad to see you, but calm down, dude." <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so good to see you and yeah hi <laughs> and then i kind of pick myself danny up starts off the floor to like i meant to do yeah. that <laughs> danny starts to skate around you guys and start to say love's in the air <laughs> shut <laughs> up <Love's> danny <laughs> i kick a stick in front of danny that's starting to become jenny's uh, catchphrase shut up danny <laughs> <laughs> i kick a stick in front of danny's rollerblades he jumps <laughs> so guys, what are you doing with all the shovels? She's also dressed in a wintry fashion, by the way, wearing a thick coat. We're gonna I... dig you a shallow grave. Shut <laughs> up, Danny. <laughs> what? You jerk. <laughs> no, we're um, we we have a mission. Oh, a mission! That's not like an adventure. Um, no, it's a scout troop mission. Uh. We have to get funds for our troops uh, so they can fix uh, uh, things that uh, have gone unrepaired for a, a long time. And she like, and then she says, "Oh man, so lame! I, I wanted to join your scout troop, but they were like, nah, no, no girls are allowed. Boys only.' Yeah, so this is a boys' club," Ewan claims. Hey. <laughs> It's not just a boys' club, but yeah, kind of boys are only allowed. Jenny, Jenny punches you in the shoulder. <laughs> I need. Don't you to mean get him. how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but I mean, I mean, I, I need to get him some something which that he can use to play back sound effects from games. Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just because of that. Hmm. Or you now, could now pretend like, to shrink like Mario. Yeah, okay, okay. When he, he he makes the Yeah, he makes the sound effect. It's not very good and crouches down a little. Now look what you did. <laughs> so yeah, that's how right, he spoke. Big meanie. <clears throat> that's not I, <clears throat> And then he kind of like Here he walks off. Room. Yeah, he looks he looks very uh, very awkward with the way he walks because <laughs> You know, he's still crouched down and there's still snow and he's like Guys, crumbling. Guys, yeah. yes. I think most of you are a little apprehensive around rush rooms uh, recently. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, guys, good point. Gu guys, ha guys tell, tell Spuffnum about the mushroom. Oh, God. The mushroom bit us. Mm -hmm. There's a killer mm. mushroom in the forest that eats us. <laughs> we all, yeah, we almost lost to a mushroom. Yep. Oh I my think God, a you fight no against idea. a walking mushroom was more difficult than the boss battle. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, going to say fight. that. Yep. That was sad. They couldn't hit him. He could just <laughs> deep dodging and he released spores that made everybody sneeze. And while they were sneezing, they couldn't do anything besides sneeze. And it bit them, and it was super fast. It was, yeah. I, I didn't expect that it the battle would be so hard, but yeah, it almost kicked their asses, the mushroom. Hmm, this might be a bit of a spoiler to ask, but what uh, was behind the, um, uh, well, the monsters this time? Uh, science gone wrong. Okay. Basically, a turkey, um... A turkey that was uh, being chased by a crazy Scandinavian cook um, got into um, Dr. White's uh, lab and he accidentally landed in some experimental chemicals and yeah, caused it some caused a mutation, <laughs> let's say. And it also bit some people and they got like, let's just say they got some sort of Weird version of rabies, let's say. They all became very angry and irrational. <laughs> but basically, that's what was behind all the weird things. Except for the mysterious mushroom, 
Um, the weird things that were throwing acorns at the kids while snickering, those are, haven't been explained yet. What's up with those? So that might warrant a little bit of investigation if you want. Okay, then. Yeah, we're going to investigate that forest and a few things here soon. But, you know, mm-hmm. we've got to get through the holidays. Um, has no. the uh, group told uh, Norman about uh, these things? Yeah, you have, haven't you? I mean, why yeah. wouldn't you guys? Exactly, yep. Uh huh. Because it, the adventure ended with, like, a Thanksgiving um, dinner at the uh, scout camp. And I remember that Richard was saying that he was, was like, uh, telling Norman everything that happened. Uh huh. Okay, then. Good. Because the, the thing, the, the, the um, idea was that Norman basically was sick during the adventure, but, like, afterwards he got better again. Oh, yep. I completely forgot to uh, let the scoutmaster ask you where uh, James was. Completely forgot. Okay. Damn it. Oh, well, it's not important. He no. went off to a karate game. So, um, he doesn't do karate. I know. Uh, in any case, um... Sorry. Um, wow, I'm really losing my... Tr- <sighs> Focus. Okay. Jenny, in any case, Jenny was like complaining about how she wasn't uh, allowed to join the Boy Scouts. He, just, he said, Well, anyway, uh, I guess I'll tag along. I guess I don't have anything, any, anything else to do. Poor you. Well, um. Danny gets punched. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was, uh,. Let's see. It was good seeing you. Uh, uh, did you? I don't think you were paying attention. I'm tagging along. Oh. And she like well, p- apparently her bike's like standing there too, and she like jumps on it. Well. Oh boy. Um. Oh help! There's only. Do you have a shovel? I'll go get one. Okay. Let's split. Uh, what's so there? Where, where, where are we gonna meet up? I'll go back home and get a shovel. My mom probably has one somewhere. I don't know. Um, I I don't know where we're gonna start. We'll probably start like next <gasps> to my place or something. She suddenly realized, oh yeah, it's a school holiday. My dad doesn't have the work. I'll call my dad. He'll come bring me a shovel. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Well, we're on. gonna. We're going back home anyway. Um, we'll hey, start... Dad! Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm shit. hanging over with, with some kids. Yeah, I know. I, I, so, so, Dad, could you stop talking for a moment? Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, can you come bring me like show stuff? And she's like explaining everything like really quick. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. And she hangs up. I'm grounded. Okay, my dad's bringing one. Oh, that guy never stops talking. <laughs> and she giggles a bit. It runs in the family. <laughs> Shut up, Danny. Uh, I'm also wondering if you had any more uh, interaction with Jenny in your uh, Guardians of Hell yes. uh, Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah, she was in it all the time. Well, almost all the time. Yeah, she yep. she was constantly there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's not leaving you guys alone anymore. Yeah. She wants adventure. Well, I'll have to oh, maybe yeah. watch that uh, series then. Yeah, you should. A mm-hmm. lot of fun stuff happens. Oh, yeah. So, all right. Um, ah, you guys are off? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, you know, head out, wait for her dad, whatever. No, she just said, she just said apparently her dad would catch up with them. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, then we'll head out. So, while you guys are, like, um, driving up back to your neighborhood, you, like, uh, a man, like, passes by in a car, and then he, like, and he, like, slows down, noticing that's you guys, and you see, like, this, this really excited-looking Asian man there with glasses looking at you, he, like, lowers the window, and says, says, like, hey, kids! Keep riding, riding. Um, <laughs> hey. You're not certain who it is, but you assume it's Jenny's dad, but you've never seen him before. Hey, um, Mr. Jenny's 
dad guy? Yep, that's me. Uh, hey, Jenny, here, I brought you a snow, sh uh, brought you a snow shovel. Catch! He's like, no, Dad, don't, don't, don't try to be my, my, my bike! <laughs> and, he, and he, like, stops himself right right at the last moment. No, Danny uh, glides up to it, jumps, and catches the snow shovel in the air while pirouetting back onto the snow. He was actually just about getting, like, ready to, like, chuck it out of the window, literally. I know, that's why I react to that. By the way... Are you gonna try to grab it? Yes. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Blades of Fury with body? <laughs> Not really. Oh wait, you were skating. Yes, I am skating all the time. Oh, okay, yeah, indeed. And it's body plus Blades of Fury. Yeah, for you people at home, Blades of Fury is his, is his ice skating skill. Oh. Se 17, seriously? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> rolled only oh, one dear. time. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, that would have been better. <laughs> You, I'm just gonna, I was gonna say you miss and smack into the car, but that's a little grim. <laughs> so instead, I'm just gonna say that you just miss, you just miss the car and the, uh, and the dad immediately stops and goes like, oh, are you okay? And like quickly picks you up and stuff. Then he goes up. I'm okay. I'm fine. This happens. Gotta get up. Move along. He's actually, now that he gets out of the car, you notice that he's not really that tall, but you notice he's, he's surprisingly buff. And, like, quickly picks you up. Are you okay? And, like, dusts you off. I'm okay. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what okay or I should have I really stopped. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. Let go of me. No, no. Don't worry. I, I, uh, I'm I, a high school teacher. I teach gym. I know all about... Uh, I know first aid and stuff. Let me take a look at you. Come on. You don't have... Why don't you take off, take off your coat? Let me do it for you. Hmm, strange guy taking off my coat. <laughs> Dad, yeah, stop fussing like... over him. It's only Danny. Yeah, but you can never be too sure. Like my dad always used to say, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is like... He doesn't literally say blah, 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 but I'm just shortening it. <laughs> yes. That back. Bottom line, he talks a lot. Mm hmm I can see that. <laughs> yeah, and when I th I'd I'd say that when when he uh, when stranger danger is applied, uh, the guys, the rest of us, will like form up and be like unit, uh, no unit, no comrade in danger or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, but it's Jenny's dad. Yeah, so? but it's still stranger danger. He's not technically a stranger if he's somebody's parent. I think he uh, knows Danny's mother because she's also a teacher. Oh. oh. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Let's yeah, but he doesn't really sports. know you, kid, so he's probably not making the connection that, that you're the son of. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So after he's made cer certain you're all you're all okay, he like uh gives his gives his daughter a snow shovel and he's like fussing over saying, Are you sure the shovel isn't a little bit too big for you, honey? And she just goes, No dad, I'm fine, sheesh. I I was also wondering about uh, how well are the uh, roads uh, uh, to uh, to our campsite and so on and around here. Uh, how well they're are they They're actually like country through the forest roads, so they're not paved or anything. Yes. But once you get out of the forest, yeah, normal paved roads. Uh, are they well cleared of snow, though? Um... Most of them are. Most of them are. Except around the forest, it's a little slippery. Mm. Around the forest, you have to watch out. But once you get into the, the town proper, around your own neighborhood, yeah, the, don't worry. Okay. The um, Scoutmaster did say that somebody also cleared the sidewalks. Yeah. Awesome. So, the forest. Again. You know, guys, I kind of have a feeling we're going to be in that forest again. <laughs> yeah, probably. We're Boy Scouts. <laughs> I assume you're talking about it once once the dad's left? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're like, take care, take care kids. See you later, honey. And then drives off. Yep. <laughs> and, and Jenny's like standing there, shaking his head as if she's a little bit embarrassed about her dad. 
Well, I can see where the talking's coming from. You get punched. Ow, what did I do this time? I was just making a fact, just saying a fact. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, Danny. Yeah. You that one saying about bullying boys. <laughs> Come again? Eh, uh, nothing. Okay. So, uh, you guys are going to do the, your thing? I'm going to leave you to it, yeah. anyway. Yeah, we're going to do our thing. We're going out. Uh, we're going to go from door to door, you know. Yep. Trying to raise money and shovel snow. Uh, do you have any specific address you're going to visit first? Because you know some people. Yeah. Well, obviously. And then any the suggestions? People, well, the people that we know, we're going to do their houses first. Because, you know, we know that they're going to give us money for it. And then we use their houses as examples. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, where are you going first? I want names. Um... Okay, my aunt Gina, my uncle Martin. Uh, then we've got my grandpa Joe, and then you know. Oh, we've you're got... visiting family members first. I thought you were maybe gonna visit some people you know from your, you know, the last episodes. <laughs> oh yeah, we got Doctor White. We definitely have to visit Doctor White. But first, you're gonna like visit family members. Yeah, we're gonna visit okay. family members because you those know... are easily convinced. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you can, uh, ooh, you can visit James' cool uncle Julian again. He was glad to see you and stuff. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Any other family members I remember? What's that sound? What sound? I have no idea. Huh? Sounds sound like a fan. It almost sounds like, sound like a fan, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. That could be me, because like I said, I have a window open. And there mm. is a bit of airflow coming in. I'm not sure it's that, though. But in any case... Um... Wow, I didn't realize I was tired. I should take off this jacket. <sighs> okay. So, uh, after you've done uh, some of uh, your uh, family members... Okay. You go... And uh, visit Dr. White's place. And just as you expected, the place is full of snow. He probably uh, hasn't even realized it's snowing. <laughs> he's always course. busy at work. Let's yep. charge 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Sergeant, what was his name? Sergeant Stone. Sergeant Stone said we should charge five. Yes, but if you look at this mountain of snow, let's There's charge... There's a lot of snow there. Let's at least charge 10. <laughs> it even looks like he, he won't uh, He won't be able... Well, he'll get out of the door, but his front door's like almost blocked off by snow. There's a lot of snow there. It almost yep. looked like somebody purposely dumped a lot of snow there because there's a suspicious amount of snow there. A lot more than at other houses. Hmm. I'm going to poke the snow with my shovel. See if anything's hiding in it. It's snow. Okay. What, were you expecting a giant from Frozen? No, I was expecting someone to pop out of the snow and try and scare us. Uh, Jenny immediately goes, Hey, this is is this Dr. White's home? No, it's Santa's class place. And then he runs. <laughs> <laughs> she hurls a snowball at you. <laughs> missed me. Missed me. Now you get... Never mind. <laughs> you wish. But that's not important right now. As she looks back to you guys. Do um, you think maybe he'll give me one of those crystals? <laughs> when cool. hell freezes over. Um, yeah. Please, you can't say hell. I don't know. What? Grease, you can't say hell. Why not? That's more of an Eddie thing. Yeah. You're supposed to be the well-behaved one. Well, yeah, right? I'm... Damn it. Not when she's around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Not when she's around. Okay. Um, 
Yes, what did you say, uh, Richard? I can't remember. Hmm. Yeah. What's this jacket? This jacket was making me sleepy. It was too warm, apparently. Okay. Yes. Wear me. I am so comfortable. You want to fall asleep? I'm finally starting to wake up. Also, I probably need sugar. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. And you're telling everybody do not eat on camera. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, but I don't have my mic in front of my mouth. Yeah, okay, okay. And I don't eat loud food. But in any case... Well, maybe I'm loud, but the food is. <laughs> in any case, um, that's it. You're in front of Doctor White's house. What do you do? We, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to the door and I'm gonna knock on it. Real? No, wait, no. I'm not gonna walk up to the front door. I'm walking up to the garage. Ah, you've learned. Yes. Now unlearn what you've learned. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Um, I ah, up. Okay, the uh, you hear a muffled go- uh, vo- voice going, "Who's there?" Um, Doctor White, it's us. Um, Troop Fourteen. Oh, kids, uh, come right in. And uh, yeah, you notice the um. Okay. The, the garage door and slowly opening up, like uh, automatically. Is that even possible with all the snow? Uh, yeah, sure. It's not frozen over. There's just a lot of snow in front of it. Yeah. He's like, you seem like busy at work fiddling with some kind of doodad, and he like looks outside and he goes like, "Whoa, that's a lot of snow." Yeah, yeah we're here to shovel there it. There is. Um. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, there, there's just one thing. Um, huh? And, yeah. you know, it, it's it's something I hate to do, but we kind of have to do it. We are raising, for the mo- whole- we are raising money for our scr- scout troop. Oh, sure. How much do you need? Um, I look over at uh, Danny. He moves up his fingers to his face, making the 10 signal. <laughs> $10. That seems reasonable. Just let me go uh, look for my wallet. Hold on. <laughs> he like, leaves the room, go, going into his house. Okay. And I look around and see if I can find the crystals. <laughs> oh, you... You're going to go rummaging around. Yeah, I'm going to go looking around. Um, uh, poking around. Mm-hmm. Scoutmaster, stand fast. And... And Norman is interested in uh, uh, the doodad of uh, uh, that Dr. White uh, was building. <laughs> he was... Okay. Uh, okay. What should I let Eddie roll? Brains or troublemaking? Yeah, this seems more trouble-oriented. Give me a troublemaking roll. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Okay, a quirky success. Hmm. Nice. That's cool. You break something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like looking around, opening opening shovels, doing everything you're not supposed to do. Uh, opening shelves, I mean, not shovels, opening shelves. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys just let him? Uh... I'm just standing there uh, saying to him, Kruger, stand fast. And that's, yeah, that's supposed to be your patrol leader. Mm-hmm. Eddie, you're no, not he, supposed he, to do that. Yeah, you're supposed no, to I, set a good example. I am. I'm. Uh, all I'm doing is just looking around, seeing if, you know, it needs to be cleaned. As I'm opening and closing things yes. and looking, pushing papers I'll, aside. Move, I'll, you know. I'll get to you in a moment, uh, Richard. Um, as for Norman, he, like, is looking... And it, it seems to be... You're not certain what it is. Give me a Brainiac roll, but I'll warn you, the difficulty is pretty high. Well, sure. What do I have to lose? It, it will suck me into a black hole. A critical like, 20. 20. Wow, a 20. Uh, I can't actually think of something dramatic. You know what? You touch it, no. uh, and you like accidentally <coughs> prick your hand on something. I, and I didn't think you... want to touch it. Oh, you're just going to look at yes. it. Yes. You touch it and it falls to pieces. 
I can't think of anything really negative. You just have no idea what it is. You are now infected with an alien spore. <laughs> you can't make heads of t or tails of it. It's probably, like, really, really difficult, complicated science. As for Eddie, you find, because it's a quirky success, you don't find any other crystals. They're apparently very well hidden away. But in one, in one of the uh, drawers, you find a very old log, log book. Do you dare to look inside of it? Ooh. Is this like the never-ending storybook? Oh, <laughs> no, it's a um, journal. It's, it's a journal. Like, okay, is he there? Like, no, seriously? he's still, he's still, he, he's still not there. It's and and from well, you haven't opened it yet. Never mind. I'm not gonna say anything more. It's a journal no, it, of some sort. It, so he's not there yet. Nope. Oh, oh boy. It was oh, stuck gosh. in a bunch of pa uh, papers and stuff. You you assume, knowing him, his chaotic mind, that he didn't even know it was in there. It was covered oh, by a bunch dear. of other stuff. Oh, God. Eddie, um, no. Um, Put it back. <laughs> um, I know that look. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Richard? I stuffed it in my jacket. I stuffed it in my jacket. Oh, wow, that's even better. I stuff it yum in yum. my jacket. This is, this is definitely going to get you into trouble, so I'm going to give you a yum yum. I know it is, but I have to. <laughs> Danny sighs and quietly steps out of the garage. <laughs> a scout is always honest. I know. It's probably know. what Danny thinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going to suck. This is going to suck so bad. I walk and away. Then, like uh, then Dr. White back. walks back into the room because you hear the door slamming. And the, and the, sh the uh, drawer is still open. What do you do? Think quick. I, I'm rolling a die. I, 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 I pretend like I fell. And like my hand is on the drawer. Okay, give me a, ner give me a nerve roll then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, please fail this one. Please, please fail this one. Please let me get away with this. Just let me get away with this. I swear I'll be good the rest of the year. Just let me get away with this. <laughs> yes! Oh, quirky success. <laughs> oh, quirky. So you oh get away with God. it, but something negative happened. Wow, I think... Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, I get away with <laughs> You're it. You're uh, in... No. What? I, I, I have an idea. You ready for this? Say it. Oh, boy. Okay. So I pull it off. I look like I fell, but I accidentally bash my forehead into the drawer. Mm. Oh yeah, you pretended a little too good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, like yourself. I actually hurt myself. It, you know, on accident. Um, I'm gonna take off one hit point. Okay. Because it was a quirky success, so it has to have a real impact of some sort. Yeah. Okay, I'll quickly write that down. Um, so and I start a rubbing minus my one. I start rubbing my forehead. Ow! Oh, that hurt. He he like comes up to you kids and says, says like, "All right, here's the money." And then he looks down. Hey, are you okay, Eddie? Yeah, I'm fine. I just fell and oh, my head hurts now. Oh. Well, probably with all that snow on your shoes, and he like helps you up. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I know. I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And I back away, like, slowly, so that he doesn't try and, you know, pat me down, check for any wounds or anything. Uh, <laughs> no, he's, he's not. He's none the wiser, but uh, you're actually lucky that you rolled that, because I rolled a four, so he might have noticed you. Oh, Ooh. God. Whoa. So, and then he says, oh, here's the money, by the way, and he hands you ten bucks. <laughs> 